Knowing when to harvest your maize isn't a guessing game. Every week can make a big difference as to how that crop will feed to your cows. And that's why I'm joined here today by Limerick Grain UK's Tim Richmond, who's going to take us through a step-by-step -step process of how to assess your maize crop in the run-up to harvest. So first of Sarah, welcome to our trial site here. So let's go and have a look at the crops. So in the, in the run-up to harvest, Tim, how should growers go about assessing their crop? So, so when we get near to harvest, the way farmers should assess the crop is basically to walk into the field and have a good look at the um, a representative field that they're going to harvest. They want to wander it straight into the crop and look into sort of a 50 metre area, pick out 10 plants, cut them about 6 inches from the stem. I'm just going to go and cut some plants of the crop here, okay? So what are we looking for in these plants then, OK, what we're looking for in the plants is a combination of the cob and also the stalk. So if I put these plants down, and look at this one particular plant, you can see it's still quite green. The leaves are still very, very green. There's no dye back on the lower leaves. Uh, the stem's very green still as well. So first of all, we'll look at the um, stem element of it. We take the uh, stem here and just strip back some of these leaves off it. And what you can do is twist the stem like that and you can see now moisture is starting to come out the stem it's running down there so that's telling me that the plant is still very green and very wet and that's probably in the stem itself around about 18 percent dry matter so if we take that off strip back the uh, sheath one thing you can do is stick your thumbnail in and that'll tell you whether the starch is starting to be formed on the outside or not that still get your thumbnail in quite easily. The next thing to do is to snap the cob in half. Now the important thing here is to always look at the base piece. And then if we look inside here, we can look at the milk line and we can see how much starch has been deposited in the cob. So this one, a quarter, maybe a third starch deposited in there. We can take the grains off and squeeze them. I can see there's a lot of moisture still coming out of that. If we roll it between the fingers, there's just a tiny bit of starch being deposited in the end. Dry matter of the cob there is probably only around about sort of 30 percent, 30, 40 percent maybe. Combination of the two together, the plant's probably only around about 24 percent dry matter. So this being 24 percent, in September we would normally expect 2 percent dry matter drying down per week. So 24 to 30, which you're going to be harvesting between 30 and 35, that's at least 24 to 26 to 28 to 30, that's at least three weeks away from harvest. Okay, well this crop is uh, slightly more advanced than the previous one we went into. As you can see from, from this particular plant here, the lower leaves are just starting to turn brown and um, some of the upper leaves are starting to turn a little bit paler colour as well. Oop, and give it a twist. You can already see that the stem's more brittle because it's drier. And keep twisting and eventually just a tiny bit of moisture is coming out. Now what that's telling me is that this plant is now around about uh, 21 to 22% dry matter, 3% drier than that previous crop we we're looking at. And this is getting somewhere near towards harvest, although perhaps not quite ready yet. This is a uh, shorter cob variety. And again, what we do is we snap it in half, stick your thumb in if you like, since so thumb test, you can see it's not anywhere near as squishy that one. There's less moisture coming out, so there's more starch there. And we look to see how much the milk line has progressed so on this one we can see it's roughly about halfway down with the milk there in the centre. So we'll take some kernels off and squeeze them and you can see there's a bit of moisture there but nowhere near as much. It's no longer exploding and popping when we, um, when we squeeze the kernels. So this plant probably is somewhere near uh, an overall dry matter of around about 26 to 27 percent. So we're talking probably another two weeks away from harvest. Okay, Sarah, basically what we've got here is a more mature crop. I would say this crop's really, really near to harvest. What I want to do is just wander in and uh, get a few plants again and have a look at them. You can see, looking at the plants, uh, the leaves are starting to change colours, yellowy in the, in the, in the colour, and I suspect it'll be a dry crop, but we'll, we'll just check and see. Okay, we'll go on. So we can see here that we've got um, some more sort of drier plants. You see the lower leaves have gone brown and started to die off. The sheaths on the cobs are starting to go a paler colour. 
and uh, as we talked about earlier, the, the upper leaves are starting to turn a yellowy colour as well. Keep twisting, and you can tell there's just hardly any moisture in there at all, just the tiniest bit. Now you don't want it too woody, and you don't want it to sort of be too lignified, because that's going to take uh, nutrients away from the uh, silage. So I would say that was just about ideal. So probably around about sort of um, 23 to 25 percent dry matter in the actual stem itself. So we'll take the cob off here and we'll have an assessment to see how well the cob has dried down and how much starch has been deposited in the kernel. So strip it back. We can already see it's a nice dark orange colour, which is what we're looking for. That means the crop's getting near to maturity. It's a nice well um, pollinated plant, all the kernels are filled. Often there's very few at the tip. We'll just break it in half again. You feel the, the, the kernels are a little bit looser on the cob, that's a good sign. And we can see again, we want to discard that top part, which is all orange, and look at the base. So immediately we can see there, the, uh, the top is sort of glassy. You can see that sort of, sort of glossy appearance. That means that the, the, uh, it's getting quite hard. The starch there can hardly get your fingernail into it. And you can see that the milk line has progressed quite a long way down now. That's at least three quarters spilled if not uh, getting getting onto fully filled. So we'll take some off and squeeze them and see if there's any milk left in there. So there we go. Squeeze. <laughs> I'm having a job to get anything out of that at all. Break it in half. And we can see all of that kernel is now full of starch. And that's ideal for feeding to the cows. That's what the cow needs. Slowly degradable in the rumen. That's what's going to provide the energy. And that's what's why maize is so good for the uh, for cows. Looking at that cob maturity, that's around about 55% dry matter in the cob, 25% matter in the uh, corn, in, sorry, in the stem itself. Overall, that's going to be around about 30% dry matter, and it's ideal for harvesting. So just for a final comparison, we're going to look at what was the very immature cob. That's around about 23-24% uh, dry matter of that, against the crop that we just looked at last, which is the one that's ready, around about 30% dry matter. So we compare the two together, you can see immediately we have a uh, nice orange glassy look, lots of starch deposited in that cob and this one is still just starting to turn a little bit orange but still yellowy in colour and um, still wet. So we stick a thumbnail in there, you see it's very wet, a lot of moisture coming out. Try and stick your thumbnail in that. It only just penetrates the, uh, penetrates the uh, tip. So we'll break it in half and compare the two together. Starch quarter fix, just turning a little bit uh, orangey yellow. Starch three quarter fix, glassy, and um, all the way down the grain. This one, moist, wet, too many sugars floating around, and it needs to be converting into starch. This one, starchy, dry, hardly any milk in it at all. Ideal for feeding to the cows. Well, that's great, Tim. Thanks very much for taking us through looking at the, the maize cob today. I think you've shown how important it is that farmers check their maize in the run-up to harvest.